Welcome friends, in this video let's discuss about the levels of organization in ecology. In our last video we learned about ecology. So ecology is scientific study of reciprocal relationship between organisms with their environment. For our convenience we have divided ecology into different levels of organization. So there are six levels of organization in ecology. These are organism at the basic level, then followed by population, community, ecosystem, biome and biosphere. Here organisms occupy the basic level here, an individual that is a lion is the organism and the population is the group of individuals of a particular species, okay. Here the pride of lion includes all the lion population, okay. The community is the group of species living together, here includes lions, zebra, deer, these are the communities. Then the ecosystem, here the interaction of the community with the environment so this is the ecosystem okay then comes the biome and later biosphere these are the six different levels of organization in ecology let's discuss this one by one the first is individual organism so individual organism is the living being that has the ability to act or function independently it has the ability to act independently so that is so that, so that's why it's called individual okay so this is the basic unit of ecology so living being has the ability to function or act independently for example plants animals bacteria and fungi so the next level of organization is population so here the group of organisms from this of the same species occupying a defined area during a specific time as i discussed a group of organisms for example a group of lions this, this belongs to the same species occupying a defined area, for example, a gir lion forest in Gujarat for a specific time. These are, this is called population. Okay, we study population with the help of different parameters. These are population growth rate. Population growth rate is the percentage variation between number of individuals in a population at two different times. Okay, population growth rate is influenced by other factors include birth and immigration. If there is more birth and immigration, the population growth rate will be increased. And if there is more death and emigration, that is movement of population from one place to other places, that is place of birth to the other place called emigration, then there, there will be decrease in the population growth rate. Okay. Another pa parameter is population density. Population density is the number of individuals living in a particular area that is number of population per square kilometer for example here population density of india is 384 people per kilometer square uh, according to 2011 11 census so this is the population density population density is influenced by both biotic factors biotic factors like predators and other uh, living things and abiotic factors like rainfall water rainfall water and temperature humidity so if there is water scarcity the the population density will be less because of less congenial environment for the growth of the population so this this is the population at the second level of the organization the third level is community so community is the assemblage or association of populations of two or more different species occupying the same geographical area in a particular time so Community is the assemblage, assemblage of two or more different species. For example, different species includes maybe lion, tiger, uh, deer, zebra, antelope. These are different species occupying the same geograph geographical area in a particular time interacting with them. For example, lion predates on zebra or deer for its survival. So this is one level of interaction that is predation. So this is called community. Okay. There are two different types of communities. One is major community and another one is minor community. Major communities are large sized, well organized and relatively independent. These communities has the ability, ability to, to, to produce their own food with the help of sun's energy. So they are independent. For example, other troops, they have the ability to produce their own food with the help of sun's energy, sun energy and convert them into chemical energy. Okay. So plants, blue-green algae, some of the bacteria can generate their own food with the help of 
sunlight okay these are called major communities and minor communities minor communities are dependent they are dependent on either plants or other animals for their food so these are called heterotrophs for example lion deer antelope eagle snakes these are all minor communities because they are dependent and they are heterotrophs they they do not have the capacity to produce their own food with the help of sun's energy okay so this is about levels of levels of organization i am going to cover other levels include ecology ecology and eco sorry uh, ecosystem biome and biosphere in in separate videos since these are very important from examination point of view thanks for watching